Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy, and I'm going to talk about the APK patcher from NLD. All right. If you have an Android device, and typically I'm an Apple owner, um, but I do have an older Telecast uh, D80 hanging around. It's called a T-Pad. It seems like it has enough processor power and the right screen resolution to run this, so you have to check that to make sure it'll run. Um, a few things you need. You're going to need the old DJI Assistant 2 and the non-debugged. You're going to need the new version 1.02 NLD app and you're also going to need the APK file um, and the only one that will work right now is 4.4.13 um, if I open this up it's right here I already downloaded it um, where you have to download it from is this website APK Mira here's the website go by slow so you can see it um, you just download it and you put it on a package on your desktop I wasn't sure how to do this because like I said I am NOT an Android user let me move that out of the way um, and you also need your Phantom 4 which I'm gonna hook up or your Mavic Pro or your Spark or whatever for some reason you have to hook it up so I'll try to do the screenshots here with patching the APK file I made a folder right here that's another thing you want to do NLD go for APK so when you patch it you want it to go to this folder I'll show you in a minute how it works alright so let's get started first let's open up the NLD app this is the version 2.1 it's the newest one let me open up my folder here you want the older assistant 2 I'm going to run it as administrator. I'll close that. Let's wait for it to open. For some reason, you need, I don't know why, but to do this, you need the drone on, um, you need the Assistant 2 on, and you need the NLD mod client running. All right. Right now, it says it's waiting for the connection. Let me turn on the Phantom 4. alright the Phantom 4 is coming on we have to wait for it to connect once this connects we'll open up the go for APK patcher alright now this enables a lot of thing a force FCC mode it removes the no-fly zones and enables offline login it removes force APK and firmware updates Mavic flight modes on the spark and much much more All right, um, you can read about it on the website but let's go for it okay you don't have to do nothing with the assistant software so I'm gonna minimize that I'm gonna open up the go for patcher and this is what this looks like and what it's asking for is you need a clean DJI go 4.1.3 APK file that's where I showed you where to download it and everything so you want to hit browse I got my folder on the desktop and here it is so we're gonna open it alright that's the input file now the output folder I want to want it to go to this NLD go for APK folder that I have here so again we'll browse back up here and right here my NLD go for APK we're gonna hit save all right this is all the things it's going to patch you know remove the Google Analytics um, enable the spy, uh, Sparks Wi-Fi channel it gives you a lot more channels too but let's apply the patch okay and it's just warning you hit OK okay now it's what it's doing is it's unpacking the original file 
it's gonna put what we used to call it in the hacker world is it's gonna add some cracks and all kinds of things it's gonna rewrite the DJI go for app not that DJI is gonna be happy about this but I don't think they should be spying on us either so it might take a while I got the drone going um, I don't know how it all works together um, but hopefully I can use my my Apple product on this because I kind of go back and forth between Android my shield and um, my iPad mini air too all right so sorry I'm just blabbing while this thing's doing its thing and then I'm going to show you how we hook up our Android device and we make this all happen and I have a screen record that's the nice thing about Androids uh, the shield has a screen record and any other Android product you can just download a nice screen recorder so that's one of the good things until they come out with version 11 on the iOS which is supposed to have a native screen record uh, you're stuck with only Android that can do this I'm just letting it do its thing I don't know how long it takes uh, this is the first time doing it so we'll give it some time I'll stop talking right now and I'll speed it up on the video Okay guys, this cruise right back again. It says patching is complete. Hit OK. Alright. Now, from what I understand, we don't need any of this. If I look into this folder right here, there is the new APK file. Now it's called NLD Go 4.1.3 APK. Alright. So let me close that. We're going to shut down the Phantom 4 and we're going to close all of these items. We shut off the Phantom. We're going to close that. All right, and what it is is you have two different ways of doing this. The Apple device, you can use one half of the NLD app, and then for the Android product, you can actually rewrite all of the DJI Go for app, from what I understand. Um, okay, what we're going to do now is I plugged in my Android device, so if I come over here to my computer, it's right here, the PADH, and it's under USB storage. To get this on your Android device, you have to open up to your system and your version and do tap to 10 times, and you have to go into debug mode, and what happens is you have to enable the USB storage. Once you do that, when you plug into any computer, this will pop up under the hard drives and you'll have storage. Uh, what I'm going to do is open up USB storage. I'm going to look for the download folder. This is everything on the Android app. This is the download folder. It has nothing in it. I'm going to open up this folder here with the brand new um, patched or cracked or whatever you want to call it. APK file. I'm going to drag it over here into the download folder. Now just remember you don't see it but my Android device is hooked up. Alright 
So now the file has been transferred via PC right to the Android device. I'm going to close these windows up. All right. And now I got my Android device in my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start screen record on this. Get started. Now it started. Um, what we have to do is go into your file, uh, file manager. Open up the file manager. You're going to see the USB storage. And then we're going to look for that folder download. And then there it is. There's that APK file that has been patched. All right. Just click it once. It's going to ask you if you want to install it. But first of all, make sure your device is in airplane mode. Mine's in airplane mode and the Wi Fi is shut off. You want that all shut off for right now. Hit next. This is going to ask you a bunch of questions like DJI Go app always does. Hit install. We're going to let it install. While this is installing, some little music for you. Yeah, now you want to kill me. But anyways, the whole idea of this is everything will already be patched on this special DJI Go 4 app. Um, it only works on Android, unfortunately. There is no way to do it on an Apple device unless you jailbreak it and from what I understand with jailbreak broken uh, iOS devices you could get into some other issues with uh, the program not running right or whatever you know so it's a lot simpler to do it on an Android and I just happen to have this $30 telecast T-pad hanging around it's a PH or P80 um, like I said, any Android device you have, I had a Nexus uh, 7, but it was the 2012 edition. It would not run on that, but the newer Nexuses it will. But look up under DJI's compatibility for the Go 4 app, and it will let you know all the different phones and tablets that actually work with this. The one I'm using is typically not on the list, but it does have the same processor speed, and it doesn't have a lot of rubbish on it. This is just a tablet. It wasn't from AT&T or Sprint or whatever. It's just a tablet, so it was pretty naked when it comes to um, the operating system. And also, you need to know that when you do this, whatever you buy, make sure it has Lollipop. If it's not running Lollipop, it's just not going to work at all. Um, I had Nugget on my shield, and it kept crashing every 30 seconds. I had to downgrade. Nugget was 7.0. I had to downgrade to 5.11 and I never had a problem yet. I get a couple of green stripes every now and then but that's normal even to my um, Apple products. Okay guys, the app is installed now. Alright, so what we want to do is we can hit done. Alright, let's get out of, bear with me, I don't know Andrew, Android products that well. Let me see if it's in here. Open up the file manager part here. Let me move this record. Alright, I was already there. Sorry. Blind leading the blind here. Okay, what are we looking for? Okay, if you look on the screen, it says um, NLD DJI Go 4. And if you look at it, it's got the little helicopter, uh, the quadcopter flying above it. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll fire it up now. Let me turn on the drone. Turn on my controller. Turn on the Phantom. All right. Now let's hit this NLD. DJI Go 4 app. Alright, if you look at that, it's cool. They changed the whole first screen here. DJI Go 4 Unleashed. 
alright we're gonna let it open and also keep it in airplane mode uh, I'm in airplane mode right now it's gonna go through this we love DJI you know thanks for making these devices blah 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 they changed the beginning screen which is pretty cool um, hit agree and it's gonna ask you to log in alright the trick with the login is make sure you're in airplane mode and it's A A A for your username and B B B for your password and hit sign in and it should go to the device it opens up at the spark if you look over in the uh, right on the spark it says NLD DJI go for unleashed we'll do the drop down I have a Phantom 4. Alright, and now we'll enter the device. Let's see what happens. This thing should be looking at the bottom of my bed. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to hook up my USB port to my controller. All right. Okay, when it comes to these Androids, it's going to ask you what you want to hook up with. We'll just say just once because I have Litchi on here. All right. Like I said, the lights are red on the drone. It's just looking at the bottom of my... Uh, it says latest firmware, compass is normal, ESCs. I don't see anything weird here. Like I said, it's looking at the bottom of my bed. I'll show you my big foot. There's my foot. Alright. I got Addy mode because I'm inside. Let's see what the menus say here. Alright. So you basically got to go through and reset it up. It's set on Imperial. Calibrate map corner that's China mainland. Let's shut that off. Show flight routes okay. And we're going to go to about. And as the app is the 4.1.3. All right. We'll go into the obstacle avoidance. Radio. Just setting up a transmitter. HD. See the thing with the androids, they're a little bit slow on the draw. This is going to show you channels. It also adds, I'm assuming, a lot more channels than what it's on 5G or dual mode or 2.4 gigahertz or 5.8. Shows your battery. So I'll have to check it against normal, but. It's all there. It's on an Android device. Um, I have no props on it. The drone has started up. Takeoff has failed. No props. Let's see what we have for modes. Intelligent flight modes. Tap fly up to track, course lock, home lock. So it looks like everything's there. Okay, guys, so this is Cruise Roy with patching a um, your APK file on an Android device. And I hope this helps someone out. And this is Cruise Roy, and I'm out of here.